Hello friends, welcome back to Cyber Security Informant Talk. Today we are going to talk about Azure Security and we will look at the monitoring system the Azure is providing us like Network Watcher. Network Watcher is a very big tool and it has a lot of other features and tools inside it. And at the end I will also show you a small demo so that you can understand Network Watcher in Azure properly. So I, Shetaj Mahajan, welcome you to Cyber Security Informant Talk to my channel and we are going to talk about Azure Security today. Okay, before starting, let's uh, discuss few things which are important for network security. First, we all know that network security is very hard. Without proper tools, doing a efficient network security is quite impossible. Network security always needs more visibility, scalability. They need tools for troubleshooting and those tools has to be cost effective based on the company's budget. Network Watcher is a very good tool for network security, but that doesn't mean that it will solve all of your problems. But there are several tasks which every network security has to do every day. For example, improving the network visibility, network troubleshooting, scalability of the network, to provide better security to the company, to identify potential security threats, and to respond to the threats quickly. So let's see some of the benefits which we can get from Network Watcher. First benefit is that your team will get a network visibility. They will get a complete view of your network. They will understand the relationship between the network resources which can make them easier to identify and resolve network issues. Second task the network security team can do with the help of Network Watcher is to do network troubleshooting. Troubleshooting is also a very important part of network security and Network Watcher will give you this benefit that if you have this tool, your team can definitely do network troubleshooting easily, much effectively, much quickly, which will help them to resolve security issues much faster. Integration of all the tools is also important. So if your team is using Network Watcher, they can integrate with other resources of Azure. Network security team can collect different logs from different locations, which will help them to identify potential risks by correlating logs and events, and that will help them to resolve network issues much faster. It provides several tools for monitoring and troubleshooting network issues in your Azure network. Following are some of the examples I have given to make you understand what tools it provides. Network Watcher will provide network topology, which is referred to the arrangement of various elements like nodes, etc. in your computer network and how they can interact with each other. You can understand using the network topology what type of topology your company is using. For example, star topology, which uses all the devices connected to central hub. You can also use a bus topology where uh, all the devices are connected to a single central cable called bus. Uh, or another example of a topology is a ring topology where devices are connected in a closed loop and data flows in one direction only. Each type of network topology has its own advantages and disadvantages, but this tool will provide your security team to understand immediately what type of topology the network is having. Network Watcher will provide your team a proper tool where they can monitor all the connections between the virtual machines. They can use this tool to monitor the reachability of various virtual machines in your network. And the third type of tool it provides is IP flow verifier. This tool verifies if a specific traffic flow is allowed or denied by network group and firewall rules. By using this tool, network team can easily understand and verify what type of packets are allowed and disallowed. So network team can easily verify if a packet is allowed from the machine or not. There are many other tools which Network Watcher is providing to network security like Next Hops. So this tool shows the Next Hop type and IP address of a specific virtual machine. It can also provide you the security group view. The tool provides a virtual representation of the network group, which are also called NSGs. Now I will start a small demo where I will show you how this tool can be used by network security. We will go to Azure console to see how topology works. Okay, to start the demo, I have first opened the settings page of virtual machine where I have gone to the extension. If you look at the left hand side, I have clicked the link extensions. Here I can see if the agent is installed on the virtual machine or not. This agent is required if you want to use network watcher. With the help of this agent, your machines will be able to send their logs to virtual network. It is important to understand that Network Watcher is not enabled by default. You have to enable it for every region. So if you have not enabled Network Watcher yet, please go to Network Watcher setting and enable it for every region. So the next thing we are going to do is to go to the topology page and see the benefits of topology for our network security team. Now in Azure console, I have come to Network Watcher topology. If you want to come to Network Watcher, there are two options. First, you can search on the top like network and the pop-up will appear. Then you have to click on the Network Watcher to reach to Network Watcher page. Or you can click on the left-hand side link like Monitor. Monitor is the main tool and inside the Monitor, we have a Network Watcher. So Network Watcher is the part of Monitor. So if you click on the Monitor, then you will be able to open Network Watcher from there as well. We are now at Network Topology page. 
here you can see the network topology this will give the advantage to your team to understand what topology the network is using like i discussed earlier bus topology ring topology now let's discuss how this will help our network security team the first thing which teams would like to know is about the network what is the flow inside the network what are the things are connected what resources are deployed so in my view having this topology page in your arsenal will always help your team to act fast and i think the overall company can take benefit of this the biggest task for any security team is to understand the current state of network it will help your grc team to do the auditing properly this can be a very good proof for your pci audits for an example your network security team can easily explain pci auditors so if you go to your monitor first and then to the network watcher inside the network watcher you will find this link on the left hand side which is called topology when you click on this link the diagram will appear here you can select the subscription type resource group and virtual network based on your selections the new diagram will appear for an example the network security the cloud security team will know how many vnets you are using what are the subnets what resources like vms or iam roles are being used it will help you and others to understand what is changing and happening in your network this is very powerful because you want to know what is happening in real time and this is the tool where your network security cloud security your risk management team should go to check what is happening as you can see it is very important for network security so i will also advise you to keep extra precautions while giving access to these pages to your organization while giving the permissions to this network page i have seen in many companies that people are using network watcher and topology but they are not protecting their pages properly because this is the page which is very important for security point of view you have to be very sure about who is having the access to this page who are the approvers who is going to monitor this page on a regular basis who at the time of incidents will come to this page to check what has changed in the network this has to be done regularly like weekly or monthly basis and from the security point of view i will recommend that every week or every month you should train your team especially the cloud security team on how to use this page they should be very familiar with how to use this page what this page is offering them so that at the time of incidents they are prepared and they can act quickly this demo will continue in the next video i hope you have enjoyed this segment of the demo so stay tuned and make sure you catch the next video for the continuation of the demonstration thank you very much for today have a nice day